to the Einstein Music Preview Concert. I'm Joe Bernhardt, Associate Principal here at Einstein, and we're so glad you were able to make it here tonight to support our student musicians. I would like to say Mr. Miller, our principal, was not able to be here tonight. He is dealing with some personal matters. The Einstein Music Ensembles have spent the past few months building a strong team culture. In each music class, learning how to play their instruments with proper technique, learning how to read music, and practicing how to perform with professionalism. Tonight, each ensemble will give you a glimpse into what they've been learning so far this year. The pieces of music will be introduced by members of the group, starting off with Callie and Jack for the band, Maya and Sarah for the seventh grade orchestra, and Maddie, Grace, Abigail, and Nathaniel for the seventh grade choir. Good evening, and thank you for attending our concert. Our first piece this evening is Sky Gazer, written by Randall D. Standridge, and performed by the 8th grade band. Sky Gazer is an interesting piece that puts you in the shoes of someone who's flying. Listen for how the mallet percussion parts interact with the trumpets and clarinets, weaving melody and percussive elements together. One challenging aspect of Sky Gazer is the speed. We spent a lot of time working together as an ensemble in order to be able to play the piece without slowing down. It is fast and exciting and will keep you on the edge of your sheet.
the Simonovide. Written by Soon Hin Newbold. Simonovide translate to woodland fairy. These fairies are found in Slavic and Bulgarian forests and caves. At night, they come out to dance and sing and, pl and to play in the lakes. We hope you enjoy our performance of Dance of the Simonovide. <laughs>
introducing the 7th grade choir's first piece, Viva la Musica. This piece is in Italian and was written in the 1600s. We started learning it by wondering what's so great about this piece that it's been kept around for 400 years. The answer is probably in the text, Viva la Musica, which translates to long live music in English. Everyone brainstormed reasons to love music and wrote their own toast or tribute to music. We spent time in choir class learning the art of being a toastmaster and practicing toasting music, choir, and each other. You will hear several of those toasts tonight as part of our performance of this piece in unison as, as a round. Music is inspirational because it brings energy into life. For example, at sporting events, when they play music, it makes people feel strong, happy, and, and energetic. In my life, when I listen to certain music, I feel strong and confident. So thank you, music, for bringing energy, confidence, and happiness. Long live music. Long live music. like to propose a toast. I am toasting music because it is global and will never be forgotten. Music is everywhere. It makes great moments greater, sad moments sadder, and happy moments happier. Music inspires me to move on with my day. I wake up to music every morning, and you can thank my alarm clock for that. So here's to you, music. Viva la musica. Viva la musica. a toast. Music is very important to me. I am toasting music because some things would not be the same without it. For example, sitting or driving in a car would not be the same without the radio, or dance parties without music would just be awkward. And in my life, I personally like to listen to music while drawing, doing homework, or sometimes even doing nothing. And I'm sure a lot of people can relate to that. So here's to you, music, a toast to show how much we love and need you. Long live music. Long live music. a toast. In my life, I always love to listen to music. It can bring people together and bring up everyone's hopes and lift their spirits. For example, when you're in the car and a friend asks for the aux cord and then they can play their music and the ride together is more enjoyable. So I thank you, music, for changing how I live and the lives of others. Viva la musica! Viva la musica! and touching. Some songs are very meaningful and it brings me up. Uh, uh, dance parties wouldn't be fun without music. Movies wouldn't be the same. Same Car rides would be so boring without music and TikTok wouldn't be as fun. So thank you music for coming to my life. You love musica.
trip to work with young people in Mexico. He asked them what they would want the world to do, and they said, listen to us. Oye, which is an invitation to listen in Spanish, captures their message. Aside from the power, powerful message of this piece, we really like its upbeat rhyme rhythms. That's really I can read. Um, and singing in three-part harmony with all those with all of the classes together. We enjoyed the challenge of fitting each section of this piece together like a puzzle, and also getting to feature some of the singers in small groups. <laughs> Enjoy our performance of Viva La Musca de Noé.
for our listening enjoyment. All right. One, two, three, hey! Crosby, 
Ding Martin, John Mathis, and Francisca Bellastini. This is written in a swing style, which is a characteristic of jazz and means that the eighth notes are played unevenly. Also important to know about jazz is that solos are usually improvised, meaning not written down. Instead, the soloist has to listen to the chord changes being played by the rhythm section and make up a melody on the spot is going to fit in with the rest of the group is doing. Soloing tonight in a marshmallow world are Callie, Liam, Jack, and Braden.
Tucker is a popular folk song that many famous musicians have covered, including Bruce Springsteen and Pete Seeger. The origins of the song are not known, as it comes from an oral tradition of songs, but it is often credited to Dan Emmett. Every instrument gets a chance to play the melody, as well as a fun fiddle style. Every time. 
on. I just want to move on and stand up on my own. each other and what it feels like to think of someone as family even though they're not technically related to you. We hope you feel moved by this performance to lift up someone you love and show them you care through telling them how you feel or just through a random act of kindness.
seventh and eighth, gra eighth grade bands will now join forces for our last two pieces. Daydreams was written by Rob Romaine. Simple but artistic, this piece demonstrates many colors and movements with two melodies exchanging thoughts back and forth. When listening to this piece, picture yourself outside, sitting in the sunshine on a warm summer day, imagining a world of your own. We hope you enjoy Daydreams.
right. Uh, we've reached our final piece of the concert here. So first off, a couple of things that we need to do, and a few uh, just a quick reminders for students and families at the end of here. So uh, first things, students. Our students have worked really, really hard to put on this concert. Uh, lots of time and effort, and we're really proud of that. Uh, thank you to you as well, parents, family members, friends, anybody that's supported them so far in their journey through music. Uh, and thank you again for taking time out of your day to come and attend the performance. Next, uh, on behalf of the music department, we'd like to thank all of the Einstein staff. Uh, they're really, really important to help us put this on, and we really appreciate them supporting us in the arts. Uh, in addition to that, we'd like to thank our principals, Dave Miller and Joe Bernhardt. Um, even though Dave couldn't be here, they're both really supportive of our program and uh, are all about the arts, so we have to give them a special thanks as well. Thank you to West. West is the only building in the district that's big enough to hold all of us uh, on stage, as well as an audience of this size. So thank you to West and everybody that made that happen. Next thing, after the concert here, uh, we're going to have you meet your musicians in a few different spots. Uh, so band, families, you can pick up your children in the hallway right off to the left here. So not in the auditorium, but outside. Orchestra students and families, you can be picked up on the left side of the auditorium here. And then choir, you're going to be picked up at the front of the auditorium. One last thing here before we send you off with our school song is that uh, the Einstein uh, music rooms will actually be open tonight until about 9.30 if you'd like to drop off your instruments on the way home. Uh, so that is an option tonight. Uh, and with that, thanks again for coming. Enjoy the rest of your evening, and we'll leave you at the school song.